Now that we connected our chatbot to a Facebook page and activated it, we can set up a welcome message. And the welcome message is the first message a user gets when he talks with your chatbot. And it is really important that we set expectations in that first message. For example, we must say that our chatbot is a chatbot and not a human. Because if the user thinks he's talking with a human, he will ask all kinds of questions and then your chatbot will fail. The last thing we need to do is also tell the user what your chatbot can do. So in our restaurant example, we will tell him that he can see our menu, make a reservation or sign up for a secret dessert recipe. Let's dive in. So if you head to your mobile monkey dashboard, you already see here the Facebook icon and you can see the welcomer which will be the welcome message for your Facebook page. So if you can click on edit welcomer, you see that if someone clicks on the send message on your Facebook page, this is the message that will be automatically sent to them. But I don't recommend to set up your welcome message here. And that's because of the scalability of your chatbot. Because now our chatbot is small, we don't have set anything up, but in the future it could be the case that someone is coming from a QR code to your chatbot, another one is coming through this button, another user is coming through our website. So then we have all these kind of different welcome messages and we just want one. So it's better to make just one welcome message dialog and then we can refer from different places in our chatbot to that one welcome message. So what we are going to do is we can click on chatbot and then go to dialogues and we can add a new dialogue which we will call welcome message. And then we can add text and because we're using a restaurant as an example uh, we will say something like hey first name I'm the chatbot of restaurant XYZ. I will help you to get the best restaurant experience you've ever got. So what is really nice about Facebook Messenger is that we already know their first name and their last name. Because we use Facebook Messenger as a channel, we already know kind of variables like the first name, last name, uh, the location, time zone, all these kind of stuff we already know that, the language they speak. Uh, so that's definitely a benefit. Um, next I will say something like, what would you like to do? And this really sets the expectations. So what I already said, it's really important to set expectations in your welcome message. And you're saying, I'm the chatbot of restaurant XYZ. So you're already s saying that you're a chatbot, you're not a human. So that already sets expectations. Then you're saying, I will help you to get the best restaurant experience you've ever got. That sets the second expectations. Like, okay, what am I going to achieve with this chatbot? And now we're going to set the third expectations. What would you like to do? And then we can add buttons because that directs the user to the actions they can do with this chatbot. Because people know you can not do everything with chatbots. You can only do some things with chatbots. So what we can do is for example, see our menu. So we can add a, a nice icon and say, see our menu. And in the coming videos, I will show you how you can set this up to new dialogues. But for now, I will just make it a URL, which is my URL, chatomize.com. And then uh, we can click on create and the button is created. Uh, then we, we can add another button, which next to seeing our menu, you can also choose for make a reservation and we can add a nice calendar icon. So make reservation. It's also important to note that you have a limited amount of characters on your uh, Facebook button. So if I go on with typing, it's not even possible. So Mobile Monkey already stops you with typing because the buttons inside Facebook Messenger cannot get that long. And I will also set up this dialog in the coming videos. So I just set it to URL so it works for now click on create and 
the third thing that we are going to do is inside this course we will deliver an, a lead magnet to our users and the lead magnet is the secret dessert recipe uh, of our restaurant so what we can do is we can also add the button here add a kind of lock uh, icon because you really need to unlock it and type in dessert recipe and this will also go to the URL click on create and then if you click on this you can really test the dialogue so if you're a messenger if you have talked with your messenger bot before that would work but because I never talked with it before you need first to copy the link and if you just click on copy link you can just paste it there and that then it will automatically go to your chatbot and it will say hey Joran I'm the chatbot of restaurant XYZ I will help you to get the best restaurant experience you've ever got what would you like to do and then you have the three buttons so that's basically our welcome message now if we go back to mobile monkey to the dashboard then we can click on edit welcomer and we still need to set up this button so this button still shows this message so we can really delete this message and then we can add a widget and click on more and then go with navigate and you can navigate the dialogue to our welcome message and if now if the user clicks on send message it will send this message which we just said. In the next couple of videos, I will show you how we can make our first dialogues inside Mobile Monkey. And if we click on one of the buttons in our welcome message, that they will actually go to the right dialogue. If you want more videos on how you can use tablets in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, and if you didn't do it yet, please hit the like button below.